Hey there, I'm Victor Avil. I'm process still making process engineer. I specialize in secondary metallurgy and also and I'm also a graduated student in a master's program in Federal Science and Technology Technology Institute of Spirit Santo State, Brazil. And today I'm here presenting a research that we did about stud of the slag formed after tapping, slag line refractory protection and desulfurization efficiency. Well, to put in context, we're talking about a research made in a fully integrated steel mill with blast furnaces and a BOF shop. This paper occurs after converter tapping, when a higher level of desulfurization is required due to low levels of sulfur content of this grade of steel. So during, uh, during steel manufacturing, the ladle tapping stage is critical. At this is where the liquid metal is contained and transported. If the slag that forms is not saturated in MGO, it can wear down the MGO carbon refractory li lining, representing one of the highest costs in steel production. So the, the objectives of the studies is to investigate the impact of varying MGO content in the slag on refractory protection and the influence of the desulfurization efficiency after steel tapping. As for experiment and methods, we use 20 samples of different heat. All of real data were used for these tests. We choose advanced an advanced high strength steel grade of ultra low sulfur content, which means less than 3 ppm of sulfur content, uh, which means that the wall of the ladle will be damaged by the reactions of high desulfurization. So, to simulate like properties, thermocalc and fact stage were used. We find that every heat have their own ideal saturation based on the composition and slag properties. Right here we can see the equation of desulfurization efficiency measuring the initial and final sulfur content. As for the influence of slag composition on MGO saturation, According to the first graph, the higher the MGO activity in the slag, the lower the percentage of MGO saturation. The second graph shows an increase in the lime content, results in a decrease in the MGO saturation content. An increase in the lime content leads to an increase in MGO activity. And the third one, shows the higher the content of fluorite, the higher is the MGO saturation content. Fluorite acts as a fluxing, increasing the amount of liquid phase, enhancing the dissolution of MGO. Right here we have the MGO content variation in the slag on the desulfurization efficiency. In first graph, in first graph, we should take into account that an increase of the MGO content in the slag reduces the desulfurization efficiency due to a decrease of activity of lime. Second one shows that desulfurization efficiency decreases with an increase in MGO content. This occurs because an increase in MGO content causes a reduction in activity and a reduction in the activity of lime because of 
kinetic reasons. We've concluded that legs that demonstrate the highest diffusion efficiencies were those with the highest lime activities. These legs with lower levels of saturated MGO achieved the highest diffusion efficiencies. Those legs showed both higher MGO and lime activities and lower MGO levels. MGO should not exceed the limits of saturation of each leg having the most powerful refractory protection without compromising the saturation. And for future, for future researchers, further studies will be necessary to investigate these leg capacities to, uh, to absorb hydrogen and non-metallic inclusions in different grades of steel, such as API medium carbon steel. Thank you very much.